Your computer is not in working condition. It's not in working condition right now because that pop up's there and I can't get it to go away. I've been trying to get it to go away for about 20 minutes now. So I just said, oh, I'll just go ahead and just call this number. Maybe they can tell me how to get it to go away because I can't get it to go away. I'm not really too shabby with computers. Okay, 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 okay. Um, right now, sir, as your hard drive is not working properly, we can send the technician at your home. No, it's not my hard drive that's not working. It's it. going to fix it. My hard drive's working, it just says my hard drive's going to be deleted if I restart my computer, so I want to know how I'm going to be able to turn my computer off, because I can't yeah, keep my computer on all night long, because that's a waste of electricity, so... Hard drive right now, there's some technical issue with your hard drive right now, this is the reason you are getting uh, all black screen on your computer. It's not all black, so see, I can I see can the screen, start. I can see the desktop icons behind the pop-up, if the screen's not black, I can still see the desktop, there's just this pop-up there. With this phone number on, it says my hard drive is going to be deleted if I restart my computer and to call this number for the technical support. So I just gave you guys a call. Okay. Because like okay, I said, I don't want my okay, hard drive. Okay. We will send the technician. Technician will fix all the problems it, which you are facing on a computer. Is he going to say... Is he going to tell me how to put all my stuff on a, a CD just in case my hard drive were ever to get deleted? Because I really don't want it. I got a lot of value from like, my tax information. Like I said, my Paul's got a, a bunch of old pictures of him saved on there. I think there's a couple of videos of my Aunt Grandma, too. I'm not really too sure. I haven't really looked on there. But I just know there's a lot of valuable information on there that I don't want to lose. So uh, is he going to tell me how to save all this to a disk? Back up your data. We are going to back up your data. You will not going to lose uh, any of your data. So how do you worry about your data? So how do I back up my data? I've heard that term before, but I've never really learned how to do it. I'm pretty sure I could do it. I'm pretty sure it's not too hard. We will, can do, you, can it. Exp- we will do it. There's no need to do by yourself. We will do it, sir. Can you quit yelling, buddy? Because I got earbuds in and you're kind of hurting my ears, and I'm not too sure why you're getting upset with me right now. I'm just worried because my hard drive, it says my hard drive is going to get deleted, and I got a lot of value. That's what I'm trying to say you, that I'm going to send a technician at your home. The technician will fix your computer, and why you are taking too much... But well, when are you going to send him? Because i got to be on here soon. I'm not going to be back till probably tomorrow morning because I'm a, a trucker. I'm going to be on the road. So I don't know how long How long is it going to be you think you're getting well, over here. Should I wait around on or should I just stay? You will be at your home only. If you are at home today, going to send the technician today. Oh, so you're tomorrow, saying you can schedule it on my... Standard. Okay, I see. You're saying you can schedule it when I'm going to... That way, when you know I'm going to be home, that way you don't have to worry about me being out on the road. And I can, okay, I see what you're saying. Now, how much is it going to cost me to have that guy come out here and help me put all this stuff on the disc? That way I don't lose it if my hard drive ever gets deleted. Because, like I said, I want to learn how you to do that. And I'm gonna, well, I need to do that, too. That's drive. the number one thing you I want to do. I'm not really drive. too worried about the rest of it. I just want the pop- pictures of Paul, Manny, me, and Maul off of it. They got Willie Wayne Kerr Sr. in there, too. That's my grandpa. There's a lot of old pictures of him in there. And them are so, I, I'm going to take them. If I put them on a no, disc, I'm going to take them to the from Photoshop. And I'm going to have them. Listen to me. And I'm going to have them print it up. Yes, just listen to me. I'm trying to explain to you what I'm going to do when I get this stuff on there put on a CD. I'm going to take to, to uh, one of them little wall stores and get it put on, like, pictures printed out of it. So I can hang them up on tick, put them in picture frames and, and hang them up on. Why are you are being very data. rude, sir? Why are you being so rude? Will not lose any of your data. Did you understand me? I've never encountered such a rude technical support before in my life. Why are you being so rude to me? Let me speak to your supervisor. This is no any way to free cut. This is not good customer service. I don't know what day training they gave you guys, but they need to train you guys in hospitality and customer service so you because you're just want, being. You don't want technician. Yes, I do. I just told you I wanted a technician. I told you I want you to show them, have them show me how to put all this stuff on a CD. And then I'm gonna was telling you I'm gonna take it to the store and have pictures printed off. So I can put them in frames and hang them up on the walls. That way I do. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me, sir. Whatever you want with your computer, you can tell. Don't cuss at me one more time, boy. Technician will first listen to you. Quit being an asshole. You're being an asshole right now. Okay. You Why you gotta be an asshole for? Everything to the technician. Tell each and everything okay. to the technician. That's what you're here for. I thought. Okay, I thought you were a technician. You, I thought you were a technician. What did he say? I said you're being an asshole. I thought you were a technician. Why are you all yelling at me? All I'm trying to do is explain my situation, and you're yelling at me I'm like an asshole. You. I'm just trying to say no, you, you keep I'm cutting me off every time I'm talking. You can tell each and everything to the technician directly. Every time I'm talking, talking you cut me. me off, and you don't ever let me finish your sentence. I don't know why you're being so rude, but that's just not good. That's for a bad customer service right there. And I got half a month to go to your supervisor and tell them about this, because every time I'm sitting there trying to explain something to you, I worry or concern I got. You're not doing your job. You're being an asshole. You're cutting me off. You're getting upset and you're yelling. I want to. Now you are wasting your time, you piece of a shit.
What, bitch? I want to talk to your supervisor right now because you just called me a piece of shit and that's not good customer service either, asshole. Hey, Emily, you have a fucking asshole. You're a bitch, you know that? <laughs> and that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Kick the fuck out of that like button. Hope you enjoyed listening to this fucking idiot get frustrated. Oh, Willie Wayne Kerr, I guess Willie Wayne Kerr talked too fast for him, I don't know. What do you guys think, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, new video coming out tomorrow. Until next time, peace.